Hey guys, and welcome into the garage. And as you can see, we have our next project on the bench. It is the, Niz the Nissan Skyline GTR Nismo Custom from Tamiya. So let me show you the plans for this one. Uh, this photo was posted on one of the in one of the Facebook model car groups probably well over a year now. So I've been sitting on this one for that amount of time. I've been waiting to do this to get started on this project for that long. I just kept putting off getting another R32 kit to use. Just kept putting it off, putting it off. Finally got one late last year. 60 days passed. It auto shipped from Hobby Link Japan. It arrived here a couple of days ago. Time to get started on it, right? I'll be doing a, uh, we'll be doing a uh, uh, build video series on this one as well. I'm not sure how in depth I'll go with the videos or how many I'll do, but I'll do at least a couple as I go along with this build. I will be using mostly scale finishes paint as well. Two out of the three colors will be scale finishes. I do have a Nissan red and a Nissan blue that I can use, or I think I can use. Uh, I'll be using just the regular generic white. Uh, more than likely it'll be from Tamiya. Now I'm not going to be doing a full-on replica. I'm going to be doing basically the goal is just to do the paint job. I really think it look, I think the R32 looks really really awesome, really neat, really cool in that in the old Nissan dots and colors. So that's my goal for this build for this project. I might throw some of the decals on there like the Nissan decals I'll probably do. I have some white ones I can use and I'll have to make up some of the black Nissan lettering decals. But other than that I think I'm going to keep the decals to a minimum, but I'll figure that out as I get into this build. I need to do some research, see if I can find some more photographs of this car, because right now the only one I have is this one. So I'll see what I can find and see what I can see. So with that, I think it's time to get started on it. So here we are getting ready to start getting to work on this one. Uh, I got all the uh, parts sorted, ready to go to get them ready to get them ready for paint. Kind of sort, sort of them by engine parts, suspension parts, other various bits, more suspension parts, other bits, aero uh, body bits, and a couple pieces of the interior are there. And then of course the body, uh, threw the hood on, yes the clear hood is clear if you don't know about this kit. And I'm just going to just for the heck of it. Uh, the, unfortunately, I mean this is a really good kit. From to me, and one of the, I think one of their better full detail kits from that era that this was produced, but it's starting to show its age. Uh, the the molding I think is starting to show its age a little bit. It's a rough. The body's rough. It needs a good amount of cleanup to get it ready for primer. There's mold and seam lines everywhere. It it does need a good amount of cleanup to get this uh, looking good for primer. So a bit of research has been done on what I'm actually building. That usually helps to know what you're building, right? Thanks to uh, some more knowledgeable folks than I am. Uh, I posted this in the, uh, uh, the Facebook group 124JDM and then posted, posted back about what it is and this was ran in the Tohees 1000, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, Tohees 1000 down in Australia back in 91, 92 in that era. Uh, I think it was 91 when this actual library ran. So it is an actual, it's part of the group one series back in 90, group one series. So I believe still the photograph that I showed you, first one is a replica of the race car. Just a couple of things are not matching up between the photographs that I've seen of the, the research of the actual race car versus that photo. I believe it again is a replica. If you if you want to look look it up yourself, just Google uh, Tohees 1000, 91 Tohees 1000 R32. Uh, it's T-O-O-H-E-Y-S. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it correctly again. All right, so moving on. I want to get a couple of things here ready for to get painted, um, like realistically, the only thing I really need to do, I want to do, is get the uh, engine block put together and get it ready for paint. And so I just really just let's just get it glued together real quick. What is the super glue? Oh yeah. Have a rat it folks. Real quick little tip I can pass on to you. I need a little clean up there. I'll take care of that once I get once it gets glued. If I can actually get it to glue or keep them together. Ah, make it a mess. Alright. Hold on a minute. So I think I want to pass on real quick. If you use super glue like me and you've and you have issues like me in the past of Never getting to use your full on, the, get the 
never been able to use the full tube of super glue because the tip and everything dries and it claws at the tip. You're not able, able you're not able to get it unclogged to use up the whole tube. I have found a good solution. This is from Gorilla Super Glue, and this is a nice little bottle here. And I, this is the second one I've now used because I actually was able to use the entire first bottle. I used it all up without the the, the tip actually ever clogging, which is so nice. Uh, didn't waste money for it, James. I cannot count how much money I've wasted using uh, Loctite super glue and always throwing out, you know, half used bottles, half used tubes because I can never get the, the tips unclogged. Uh, the only downside, the reason why it doesn't clog up is because the, the hole, the tip is a little bit bigger than the Loctite. It's not as pinhole. So you, if you're doing really small areas where you just need a very tiny little bit of glue, this isn't going to work that great. But I guess you could if you put it on like, you know, a, like a toothpick or something or whatever or something smaller and apply it that way. So I highly recommend this tube of super glue or this tube, this bottle of super glue if you don't want to waste super glue. If you're tired of wasting super glue and don't want one that'll clog up after like the first couple of uses. All right, enough of that plug for that free plug for a gorilla and their super glue engine block is uh glued together need to remove that little piece right there that cheap. Uh, i'm gonna use a knife actually i think all right there we go oh you know a fun fact about the rb26 that would Nissan's going to be making it. Is they're putting the RB26 back into production. There's your fun fact for this video. All right. That engine block is done. Let's turn our attention and start getting the um, the, the body ready for um, primer at least. And a lot of work to do on the body. Going to have to. Um, more bits, but got some new sanding. Some look at these ooh, pink sanding sticks to try out. Uh, sanding sticks, no, not always sanding sticks, they're nail files. We call them sanding sticks for some hobby. So the most of the main mold seam lines are removed a little bit. So got some more cleanup to do. Uh, so we'll get back to the body later. I'm gonna go start getting the rest of the uh, get the parts of the kit painted next.